London, one of the most exciting and vibrant cities in the world. And 2019 sees a second amazing race around it for my birthday. Can anyone beat last year's winners, Katie and Craig? You won, you're team number one. Can John and Maurice make it further than leg two this year? Am I last? Will new partnerships for Emmy? Team number seven. James. Going to be able to do it. And John pay off. So you're actually oh, in second place, so well yeah. done. Or will one of the new teams storm the competition? Very nice food, actually. Find out in this year's Amazing Race London. I spoke to each of the teams before the race to see how they were feeling. Are you going to uh, retain the title? <laughs> There's a lot of strong people. I'm very nervous. Yeah. Why are you nervous? I haven't had a lot to eat. And I used to get a minute oh. hungry. It might, be, it might just be hungry. But the pressure this year that we didn't have last year of being made of champions, I'm not sure we, I'm not sure we do well with pressure. <laughs> Has there been any stresses this morning? We've fallen out twice. We've fallen out twice. A little bit. We're friends again now, aren't we? That's good. So, John, last year you came second. Yeah. Uh, good performance. Uh, but that was with your girlfriend. Now you're with your sister. Does that change things? Yes. Why? We'd probably come last now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, do you, I have nothing do you... to say to that because I am not very positive about that. <laughs> okay, good. Do you uh, not trust your own skills? Not my own, I'm relying on Put it this way, it's like England trying to win a World Cup without Harry Kane up front. Erin was Harry Kane. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so you don't actually know each other, guys. Kind of How do you think that's going to help you? Emmy, in the race? And we've been yeah. training yeah. once a week for a few months. <laughs> oh. We know each other very well. Yeah. Emmy, uh, last place last year, apparently. No, John and Maurice came last last year. <laughs> How are you feeling? Confident? Good, yeah, ready, ready to win. I mean, we need to like, clear up a rumour that we were first out last year. It was actually Emmy and her ex boyfriend, Andy. And then it was Lou and Paul, not us. Okay, so we're here to defend our third place title. I didn't. And I shouldn't have. <laughs> and are you this year? To be hydrated. What's that? Are you this year? Am I coming last? Yeah. No. Absolutely. How can me and James possibly come last? Yeah. Yeah. You got my phone charger for when I I've got my phone charger. <laughs> yes. Team phone charger. Yeah, we're preparing to win. Yeah, and uh, what I'd like to do is present you with the rules. <laughs> um, because last year that was your downfall. Dash, you did not take <laughs> a selfie. There are, or you have, <laughs> and you will not be starting first. You have elected to arrive on a bike, which was clear in the rules that you were not allowed to do. Was it? Um, how are you going to do this year? Not get eliminated. Oh. I was feeling Light confident legs. until I woke up with a banging hangover, so, yeah. you know. You're going to be first to finish the race? Unlikely. <laughs> Unless you're the first eliminated. Well, that's, that's what happened. Well, it depends. You just told me you're not going to be running, so. Because you've got the knees of an 80 year old. Oh, fuck off. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm injured. Welcome aboard. It's oh, fine. Yeah. This, this is going to have to be the great piggyback race. New branding. Yes. <laughs> well, I feel very confident and optimistic. Despite being yelled at this morning by this one, oh, yeah. which I've captured on camera. He's mad because I didn't read your instructions, so we, we went too early to the wrong place. <laughs> right. Okay. Is that right? Do you want to say anything? Anyway, hi to our fans uh, on uh, Buffy. I just want to say that this is not my fault if I lose this because I'm very good at directions and I'm basically carrying a dead weight here. He's <laughs> got no actual skills apart from like application of makeup. <laughs> and like a nice hairstyle and a great beard but that's not going to win me the race is it and i'm i'm really furious that i'm even here at this stage because i'm i'm basically at a loss as to how to get through the next seven hours uh welcome how are you feeling 20 minutes late um, fashionably late. Fashionably late. Um, I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, have you downloaded City Map onto your phone? Yes. yes. Oh, good no. idea. Yeah. That'll be really handy. That will help Could you get. Yeah. Central security. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Thinks yeah. Everyone yeah. Thinks yeah. No, everyone thinks we're really rubbish now. Yeah. And they were right. Odds, the odds are 100 to one of you winning this race today. Do you think you can defy the odds? Yes. <laughs>
Bromwin hit me. It says you may never physically impede another team. You are disqualified. And I hit her back, so I'm disqualified. I thought you were building an alliance. We are an alliance to get out. <laughs> I've got a really devious plan, everyone. Okay. I think, you know, I'm a bit worried about Katie and Craig as competitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the police and be like, oh my God, there's a girl with really nice brown hair. She's legging it down the street. And then she's going to get intervened by a police community support officer. I'm going to be like, I think she's stolen some diamonds from like Elizabeth Duke. And then I'm going to go and have a nice cake and watch from a window. It's going to be really good, everyone. And after some final limbering up from Emmy and James, the teams were ready to begin. Three, two, one, begin. To solve their very first clue, teams needed to decode the secret message, which told them what their next action needed to be. You can use these, you're about to go. Just keep going. I. E. R. Deal with it. You need to go somewhere quiet. Exactly. Somewhere quiet. Yes, I can't deal with this. I give up already. H. Yep. I. No, no. S. Oh my god, I can't follow that line. S. M is A. 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 I don't think this is working. Let's just check this one again. E is R. There's a, there's a word for this type of code. You might just put it through the super system. I can't remember what it's called there. Maybe, maybe don't really give it. N is A. Yeah. The message actually said, ignore the third and fifth sentences, but Emmy and James decoded it as ignore the third and fifth lines. Would this mistake cost them dearly? Drink that drink, Maurice. The first team to leave the pub were John and Maurice. Followed swiftly by Laura and Anna in second place. And reigning champions Katie and Craig in third place. Somehow, Anna and Laura found themselves back on the same side of the road. The secret message had told teams to go and find Paddington Bear in Paddington Station and get a selfie with him. Selfies started coming in thick and fast. So the top five teams were within three minutes of each other. Their next clue told them to meet me outside Baker Street Station where there was another literary character statue. This was the first pit stop in a race around London. To be clear, uh, Dan and Vashti, your team number one Woo! at the end of the first leg. Laura and Anna, your team number two. 
And Craig and Katie, you are team number three. Well done. Yeah. How are you feeling <laughs> after winning the first leg? Does Shake it put a target on your back? Yeah. Sorry? Does it put a target on your back? Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't think Whatever. we were in first. I thought Katie and Craig were ahead of us. Katie, third place is a disappointment for you, surely. Well, no, I'm, I hope we have a good life, but in the race, I'm happy with third. Emmy and James finally cracked the puzzle, and there was a close Sorry. race for fourth uh, place. John, so it's Sebastian, Maurice. John, Ashley, Maurice, which means that uh, Sebastian and Ashley, your team number four, and no! John and Maurice, your team number five. Yeah, well done, guys. <laughs> we left we first. Long side of stage. Yeah, we I know you left long first. Long ride, long side of the station, so we couldn't get in. And then you had to go all the way back. Yeah. Uh. But we had a really nice time. It was yeah. great. Actually, we just like swanned in. It was really casual. We spoke to a lady on the train. Yeah, yeah we had. We made a new friend. Her name yeah. is Tanya. She wants to be part of the race next <laughs> yeah. year. So. Okay, yeah. we'll invite her. Did you get yeah. her number? She is six four seven two. The final two teams selfies came in, but who was going to make it to Baker Street first? James and Emmy. Hi. That was clue was hard. We had a bad start. Come on, right as the net. <laughs> team number six. Uh, how many teams are there? Eight. Whoa, uh, how did we meet, beat anyone? We left well after um, everyone. Everyone. We were the last one to leave, so we did well to catch up. Well done then. Well done. What happened? But well, we, we couldn't. Just, we we just, just, the Paddington station was all blocked up. We couldn't find the right entrance. Also, when you said ignore the third and fifth. Sentence. We, sentence. we ignored, ignored the, the third line, line, but that wasn't the case. Oh. <laughs> Who would come in last in leg one? <laughs> John and Nat, your team number seven. And Lady B and Steve, you're team number eight. Why? So far behind. Where's she got them before you? She did. Yeah, you she was both. in front of you. Oh, <laughs> and I beat Steve so, running. So. I didn't expect you to run, did I? <laughs> She's going, I'm not running. <laughs> How was that leg? Fucking really <laughs> no, John and I ran, like, not even cheating you, at least a kilometre, up and down the same road. Trying to do what? Trying to find padding teams. So it's telling us it was on the left. The left was inside the station. How about you guys? They didn't run anywhere. They didn't run. <laughs> right, in there. I was looking for a pub. You oh. said that all the stops are pubs. Well, did you read the clue? It said the next pit stop is a statue. Following their performance in the first leg, the odds on Anna and Laura winning were slashed. Fifth place in the betting now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just wonder if you've got the endurance as two girls. <laughs> How do you feel about the two girls situation? They've surpassed themselves. They've peaked, let's be honest, but they've done really well. <laughs> and the second leg began in earnest. You're going no, no, now. No. One, now. In the first roadblock of the race, teams needed to choose one member of the team that would go out looking for the blue plaques in the area around Baker Street. They could use only the map provided and needed to leave their phone with their partner. Go! Go! Is it frustrating waiting? It is. No. It's a lot easier when you write the bloody clues yourself, isn't it? To find yes. where the pub is. You've been spending all bloody holiday doing it. Yes. <laughs> Definitely, did he left his phone? Yeah. Good. Evidence. Do you think he, you have faith in him? Yeah, I've got 100% faith in him. That's why I said he should go, because he's, you know, he's good at this sort of stuff. When you have all the names returned here to receive the next clue. Think? Is he confident? No, I think we should have looked up all of the places before he left. I think we've made a major error. Can I tell you a secret? Go on. I think I have an inkling of what the nine pounds might be for. I think the nine pounds might be. I think it's bowling and you have to 
like bowl a strike before you can move on, like a roadblock. And I'm revealing nothing. And I think I've made a major error because there's no way I'm going to bowl a strike, so I should have done this. <laughs> He's on the run. Has, no, has, has, uh, <laughs> has he left his phone behind? Has he left his phone behind? Yes, he has. Good. Hang on, where's your phone? <laughs> she doesn't it's trust Ross one little bit. <laughs> you brought a phone. And have you, has she left her phone? What? Has she yeah, left her phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Can you read the rules, Nicholas. Oh. Can you read the rules? Look, I don't like maps, and um, nor does he. So, <laughs> so good luck with that. <laughs> Do you want me to go, Natalie? Uh, Where's it here? It's not here, is it? There's one in I just remember Andy was gone for fucking forever. And I'm hoping James will be quicker though, he said he's, he's not good at directions. That's not the greatest. But I'm definitely worse, so I trust him. Good luck. Implicitly. Just, just go, I'm just going. Please take that on that. Good stuff, darling. Um, I mean, I can just. Do you want me to go? I think you probably need to. I don't know, unless you want me to. I'll go, but I need my pen. I think I can figure it out. I think I can figure it out. Can you, this is the only map you've got. Yeah, I know. Well, I feel really nervous for Ashley out there on his own in the big wide world without a mobile. He doesn't know where to go. Who's ever walked around without a mobile before? Well, people in the 1970s. Uh, yeah. and crazy. And crazy. before. Crazy. Oh, someone's back. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. oh. You got all five you names? Go yeah. yeah. And uh, you not there's that, your. Right? Yeah. Let me see the names, please. Can we open these, William, though? George, 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 Kelly, Michael Powell, and Eric Pressburger. Well done. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, another team. William Pippi Younger, George Richmond, Sir Gerald Kelly, William, Michael Pippi. Excellent. Off you go. This is you, this time. In the next clue, teams needed to choose between two tasks, either search or sing. If teams chose search, then they needed to complete a quiz about Regent's Park. If they chose sing, then they needed to go onto the bandstand in Regent's Park and sing a song at the top of their voices for 30 seconds. I think my uh, partner may have lost. It's stressful waiting, isn't it? Yeah. It's the worst bit. I would say I would do a better job, but I can't find my way home. If John comes if John back before Laura, Laura, then what? You only left one minute behind her. Does that mean that we're eliminated? If you come eight. Our friendship will be over. Maybe um, B's gone. I thought that you were gonna go. I was, but she's got a geography degree. Come on, maps, geography. She's gotta be she's gotta be good. She's gotta be pretty good at She's maths. actually better than that navigation than I am. Could well I just would have run a very long time in the wrong direction. <laughs> really fast. Are we the pretty three? fast. Are yeah. we bottom three? So there's five teams. Yeah, only three teams. Well, three teams back came back, back very three. quickly. Next, Someone here? No, I'm pretty sure they're here. Right. Oh, John and Matt disqualified themselves by going together. No, only John then. Oh, he's not in there. Where's Matt? Correct, well done. How are you feeling? Well done, actually. Not that good. She's there! Oh. Run! I was definitely just lost James' phone. So I said, I can't call him. I was like, yeah, I can't call James either. Where'd you left it? I was charging my phone. Oh god. Oh, don't call that. Oops. Well done. Tense. How are you feeling? Like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Search or see. Oh, the last three. Oh. How are you feeling? Oh. Well, you've been in the last three, most of the game today. You need to wind your neck in. Mum just texted me saying, is it over now? No, we're on round one and we're fucking last. <laughs> what if he gets lost, Nick? James. We can't call him. Then he needs to come back. I mean, what, he's not on his way I mean, back. I imagine you? James will get lost. Really? Is he a loser? He's a bit of a loser. No, he's not. That's my James. We raced one another down the road. Did you? And then she went, I wasn't even racing you, I was racing the bus. Yeah, <laughs> we followed you across the road and then a double decker bus was coming right at us. And then we were like, ah, and sprinting. And then they started sprinting. I was really? like, racing down the main but you road. You guys carried on running on the road. We're like, we're not running away from you, we're running away from the bus. <laughs> Videos from the Sing Challenge started coming in. Where you gotta go? Come on and dance here. Yeah.
everything is free. All you need is prosperity. Colors of the world, spice up your life. Every boy and every girl, spice up your life. People of the world, spice up your life. Once they'd completed their song, teams were directed to the next pit stop, where the last team would be eliminated from the race. Come on guys! No, I've only got 29, you have to carry on! No, no, no. I think, I think she could have that edge over just pure speed, brute force. <laughs> We shall see. We shall see. Because this is horrible. <laughs> is it stressful? This is tense. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care until we literally opened that first envelope. But and now, like, I, now I care more than anything in the world. <laughs> 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 I want to win this. <laughs> thing is, John's tactical. John will probably and um, John will probably get bothered with the last one. Yeah. And yeah. he'll take a five-minute penalty. That's clever, though. That makes sense. He That's will. Good. He's like, we do need that. He's quite good at that. Yeah. But he takes risks. Too many risks. And while Steve, Natalie and Emmy waited for their partners to return, teams started checking in at the pit stop. The last team to arrive would be eliminated. Hi, we're here. We couldn't find you. I mean, it's your second clue until we got here, so please give us a break. Baby, baby, I was, I suppose, to know something was right here. Oh baby, baby, yeah, yeah. I should have let you go. Now you're out of sight. Yeah. James. <laughs> Woo! Bring it out. Give us what we need. I nearly lost your phone earlier, but I've got it, so it's fine. Oh, no. It's going. You don't even know me. I don't know the words. I run a move. Can we go? Always right behind me. But you know that we can go a part of other. I feel like you made the second option for me. Come on, James. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you had it. She's like, Johnny! Yeah, <laughs> waving at us from afar. He's got the mark. Can I have the link on my phone? So while Natalie and John ran off to sing for their supper, Steve waited back for Lady B in last place. <laughs> and in the end, it was Natalie and John who made it through in seventh place. Lady B and Steve unable to make up the deficit. Yeah. I only recorded 15 seconds in my first song. So you did two songs? What songs did you do? I did We Are The Champions. Yeah. And dreams can come true. <laughs> um, you are team number seven, <laughs> which doesn't make you the champions yet, but you're still in the race. Well, well done. Pleased. I am pleased that we're still in. But uh, well I'm done. Very with that one. <laughs> Lady B finished the leg singing a very apt song. So much right now. Hate you so much right now. I fucking hate you, Nick. This is the worst birthday ever. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm really tired. It's hard work. that running. And these are a G cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's making the edit. <laughs> I had to hold them. All the way? Yes. <laughs> Officially, you are the last team to arrive. Thank and God. therefore, you've been eliminated from the race. Yeah. How did you find the race? Really. Bad. Well, All right. So there was a great suggestion where we plan it and Nick participates next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs>